hi everyone so yeah this is me i have been hiding behind the keyboard this whole time but today i decided if the open suza chameleon can show its face so can i this is my first ever face cam video so be gentle now let's talk about commands that actually make your life on OpenSUSE easier, whether you are on Tumbleweed, MicroOS, Slowroll, or Leap. These are quick, powerful, and all are available right in the default repos. Let's dive in. Before we continue, I want to give a quick shout out to some amazing people who left super thoughtful and productive comments on the last video. Huge thanks to Desmond Whitney1208, Adam Brodoka, John Seven No, Setaro Artworks, and Willie Reno. Your input really added value, and I appreciate you being part of the conversation. Keep it coming, I read every single comment. The first on the list, bottom, the package name, the command line is BTM, a fancy system monitor. Think of HTOP, but on a steroid. View CPU, memory, disk, and more in a blazing terminal user interface. Dust, check disk usage with a clean tree view, gives you an overview of where space is going without sort or head. Bat, syntax colored cat with git integration and built in pager, way prettier than plain cat. Prox, better version of PS with color tree and more. Prox is a Rust based PS clone. Dash dash sorted CPU shows top CPU hooks. Dash dash tree visualizes parent child processes. Rip grip, search like grip, but 100 times faster. Ultra speedy grip with regular expression, paging, and no blot. Yazi, the smoothest terminal file manager out there. Async, Rust powered file manager. Lighting fast navigation and file operations. ESA, a modern LS that doesn't feel like it's from the 1980s. Modern LS with icons, colors, get info, sleek and clean. Diftastic, structured, diff, show file diffs the way your brain understands them. Show syntax aware diffs, great for code reviews. NCDU disk usage with N curses. Interactive NCDU gives a tree view of disk space usage. Duff disk usage free utility. Pretty clean disk usage plus free space info. Easier than the DF command. MTR ping plus trace route combo. Real-time route and latency, great for network debugging. Dog, DNS client, colorful DNS queries, DOT, DOH, JSON output, just like DIG. Distrobox, run any distro in terminal. Install Distrobox with Podman to prevent the default installation of Docker. After the installation finished and before start using Distrobox, make sure that podman service is started after that you can go ahead and start using distrobox command by creating a container and to enter the container you run distrobox dash enter and then we are inside the container and we are using ubuntu lts 24.04 stat command show detailed file info stat is installed by default Stack command shows file size, timestamps, inode, permissions. Dual command on Tumbleweed, MicroOS, Slowroll. DStat on Leap is a resource monitoring. Combines CPU, disk, network stats in one live display. Plugins included. IO top. Monitor disk IO by process. See which processes are doing heavy disk IO. VM stat, virtual memory stats, 
detailed virtual memory, paging, CPU, process stats, and you can apply intervals by seconds. Watch. Watch a command run periodically. Auto refresh shell output for monitoring trends. Progress. Track core utils progress. Shows copy, move, delete, progress for core utils commands. Here on an example, I'm copying a large file to another directory and I can combine watch command with progress to watch the progress of the copying. Term Shark, CLI Wireshark, interactive packet capture and analysis in the terminal. LSOF, show what files are being used. Here lists which process is using SSH port. And SS socket statistics shows active TCP and UDB connections faster and more modern than Netstat. Use it to check open ports and network connections in real time. Here the example lists all listening ports with numeric output. Great for quick server checks. IP calc, IP subnet calculator, gives the network mask, host range, broadcast. Systemd analyze blame, startup timings, shows slowest boot units, find bottlenecks fast. And systemd analyze critical chain, dependency chain, displays critical service chain and their timings. Shred, securely delete files overwrites and deletes files to prevent recovery. Dash U will deallocate and remove file after overwriting. TS timestamp filter prepends timestamps to each line. Great for logging. Error number command is error codes lookup. IF data show interface info. Outputs IP and MAC of an interface. No parsing needed. IP Traff Interactive and real time traffic monitor. Live network stats per interface with cursor's user interface. Vidir Rename files directories in bulk via your editor. Opens your editor to bulk rename directories and file names as text. Vibe command is a pipe editor. Edit piped data midstream in your favorite editor. Let's give an example. Here I am echoing the word Linux and it will be redirected the command vibe and at last it will be redirected to the command bat. So when I hit enter, now this is a file open in the memory. I can start editing by pressing I to insert and I will add here open SUSE. Now after editing I need to save this file because it's still in the memory. I need to save it to a file on my hard disk. So I press escape and I will write W the name of the file that I want these data to be saved to. I will hit enter. Now the file is saved on my disk. I need to run again W and quit from that. And here we are. So the file edited and redirected to the last command bat. And now it is printed on the terminal. Task Warrior is a CLI task manager. To add a task, list tasks, modify, or mark a task as done. Ask Enema record terminal sessions. Record your terminal and share it via link. Let's get an example. Here I will run the command ask Enema and the parameter rec for recording and the output will be in a file. I will call it demo. So when I press enter, we will get this message and it's telling you that when you finish recording, just press control D or right exit. So I will run the command ls maybe date maybe df minus h for root only and then I will write exit or you can hit control D and after that you run the same command but instead of recording you will play the file and let's watch it
CNF, recall which package provides a command. CNF doing reverse lookup. For an example, if there is a command and you don't remember the package and the command is not installed on your system, you just run CNF space and the command name and CNF will show you the package. OPI, the best thing about OpenSUSE. OPI stands for OpenSUSE Package Installer or OBS, OpenSUSE Build Service Package Installer. OPI doing search install from OpenSUSE Build Service with ease. Let's take an example here. All I need to do to install VS Code on my system is running OPI space VS Code and I will hit enter. Now it is asking me if I want to add the repository or not. So I will say yes and I will hit enter. Now, which one you want to install? Of course, the first one. And I hit enter. Now it is asking me to import the GPG package. I will say yes and I will hit enter. Now it is refreshing the repositories and it will install the package on my system. And now I will hit enter and I will have VS Code installed on my system. And that's it. 35 OpenSUSE commands worth knowing. If you found something helpful, hit like, maybe even subscribe. And yeah, I finally showed my face today. So go easy on me in the comments. Until next time, stay green, stay chameleonic, and thanks for watching.